so Nick got arrested uh, in uh, April. Was it April or May? It was April or May. I, it's, it's starting to get too long ago. His kids were taken away from him. He lost his kids, and there was a big ass CPS case that was also thrust onto him. Um, well, today uh, he was awarded a huge W. So at any rate, he gets his kids back today, and it looks like his case is all but done. And he told me basically what it boiled down to was the evidence in the in the case. There uh, apparently no evidence. There was zero evidence to prove that he used. Zero evidence to prove that his kids were ever exposed and no one willing to testify in any way, shape, or form opposing those facts, right? Um, or to be able to testify that he was under any, any influence at all. Um, so that being the case, his kid, he was awarded custody to his children today, which is a good thing, which is a good thing. Also, what does this mean? This means, look, it's pretty damn obvious. And I'm look, I'm not gonna I know it's like fun to be intentionally naive. I get it. Like I'm I dude, I do that shit all the time with other things. But the state's not gonna award your children back to you if there's an accurate test of being ex like using high amounts of cocaine, right? Because the, the nine-year-old daughter tests positive for like medium to high levels of regular use, daily or weekends is what it said. The fact that the state awards custody back means means that that test was obviously thrown out as being any kind of legitimacy or a legitimate test at all, right? It's pretty damn obvious. And that's a good thing, dude. That's a really good thing. Look, I, th my entire problem with this entire situation, bar none, was, look, I don't like seeing Nick, you know, kind of you know, under the influence, dying, fucking, you know, on stream, looks like he's dying, right? I don't like seeing it. You know what I'm saying? We, no, no one likes to see this right here. Right? We don't want to see that. You you worry about your guy. But when it boils down to it, how does it really directly affect you, right? Me, like, I'd like to see him better, but, you know, that sucks. That's, that's what's going on right now. Now, that being said, when I heard about the, the kids thing, and the nine-year-old, that's positive, whatever. I was like, well, this is way worse now. I'm not happy about this anymore. But the fact that he's getting his children back, or he already has, um, that wasn't Nick at all. The fact that he's already got his kids back is a big plus, and it kind of uh, makes it a more neutral feeling for me, right? And I'm like, this is a good, this is a good thing because it's the road to recovery because he has to you know, be sober. He has to take tests. He has to do all these things to prove to the state that he's willing to make a change and he's doing all of these things. Um, so that's a, that's a positive thing. Um, and it's still a long ass road ahead. If I was wishing for the worst outcome possible, I, I would be pissed about this for sure. Um, I'd be like, no, fuck my plans have been foiled. Hey, you got like another shot or two when the, like during the criminal case, right? You got a couple more shots. <laughs> like, don't, don't lose hope. All right, you got a couple more shots to have some fun. Um, but what, what we can't ignore, what we can't ignore right now is the fact that Nick's clean. Nick's required to take tests. He look, look, Nick is like hyper honest with me because we're boys, you know, like he he has told me that he has not had a drop of alcohol. He doesn't intend to. Um, and like there's parameters around everything he's going through right now. So that's a, that's a benefit or that's a bonus. And that's a, that's a positive. I can't see how anybody would say that's a negative. Now, look, I get it. I'm not going to be a dumbass and say, it's not interesting to watch somebody go like have a fucking mental breakdown. Like I get it. It's kind of, it's like a train wreck. We all like to see train wrecks. And that's the issue, man, is people love to watch a train wreck. And when I was watching his last pill stream, I remember watching it and being like, like kind of like laughing and being like, holy shit, this is fucked up. Um, so I get it. I get things like that are entertaining. Um, but when it comes to children, um, I had a pretty good idea that Nick was going to do everything he could do everything he could to make sure this shit worked out. Right. And uh, it looks like he's doing it. Um, 
you know, to the detriment of the people that want to find it entertaining. I get it. But also maybe find it within yourself to be interested in a comeback story. It's pretty cool. Um, regardless of how you feel, you know, getting his kids back, um, today forever. Cause remember it was like a week ago or something. People were talking about that. He was going to get like supervised one hour visits at a facility. Like a week ago, this was what they were talking about on fucking forums and shit. And it's it was completely the opposite came back. Completely the opposite. Uh, right? So it just goes to show theories that are being made are being made for entertainment purposes, not reality purposes. CZC says, Nick feeding Kid Coke, most, most, most ridiculous lie ever. Well, the fact that the state awarded him custody means that they are pretty much acknowledging the test is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there is no other way around it. I, look, I'm not I'm not going to pretend to know the law, but if there is record of you giving your children drugs, and I mean a lot of drugs, the state's probably going to use that <laughs> as a way to charge you with something. <laughs> not be like, ah, fuck it, who cares? <laughs> We're already charging with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? We're already charging him with the, with the drug. Let him have his kids. That's not how the government works. The government will bury you under a thousand miles of dirt if they can. Sandy says just because they can't prove it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Sure. Sure. Right. Um, but I'm not like, okay, again, we're back to the, I'm not passionate enough to be like, I'm just going to assume he did it because I hate him. You know, 